EarthMC has a lot of weird things about it. Well over all of the servers I've ever played, EarthMC is the craziest. Now it's hard to say, but out of the weird things I've found on EarthMC, this might just be the weirdest. Today I'm going to talk to you about my experience with the EarthMC Catholic Church. Before this video starts, make sure you do subscribe. If you subscribe, you have a chance to win a PlayStation 5. No, I will not give you that PlayStation 5, and I don't know how you'll get it. Anyways, in all seriousness, subscribing helps me out a lot, whether that be motivationally or helping me grow. Every subscriber is very appreciated. Now the Catholic church isn't weird in a bad way. I think it's actually a very good part of the EarthMC community, and a light in the massive darkness that is this server. I say it's weird because as all of you know the EarthMC community, this just doesn't seem like a thing you would find on the server. Then again, because of the geopolitical part of EarthMC, this does seem like a perfect server to create and grow a Catholic church, and try and fight the toxicity in the community. So anyways, I first came in contact with the Catholic church in its early stage, when I was leader of Ontario. I can't quite remember how I stumbled upon the Discord for it, but I immediately saw it as a pretty cool idea. So I joined the Discord to really figure out what's going on. And the first thing I noticed was how really nice the people were. I was greeted nicely and I had a nice conversation with the Pope even when I just joined. Which brings me to a point. The leaders of the EarthMC Catholic Church are really good at their job. For the most part, all the Cardinals and the Pope have been there the whole time and every single one of them is just nice. I DM'd some of them to ask some questions for this video and they kindly responded with proper grammar and all that. Which is why it's so easy to communicate with them. Uh, scratch that, it's hard to communicate with them because I instantly feel like I'm doing something wrong. I feel like I should have a suit and tie on for this crap. Well, I technically do have a suit and tie. I just, never mind, you get my point. But yeah, preparing this video was super easy because they just aren't hard to communicate with. Everything is so official. So after I looked around the Discord for the first time, I basically decided that I wanted to either get into the priest role or the bishop role. So I started plans to create a church in Ontario, Canada. I checked about a month ago, and as far as I know, the church is still there, standing as one of the oldest landmark in North American church history. That was one of my favorite projects in Ontario, and it still brings back memories to when I owned the nation. After I finished construction on the church, I had the Pope attend a ceremony to officially open it, and it was attended by cardinals too. But this was more important than one church, because a couple days prior, I would set up the founding of the Diocese of Ontario, the first ever Catholic diocese in America. Now obviously, because we founded this new diocese, we needed a bishop, and since I was deemed too involved in politics, which I understand, one of my friends from the nation became bishop, and I became a priest. Since then, because I'm no longer in Ontario, we've had plans for a new diocese, and I will have a new one when I start my new nation, but I haven't actively done much else with the church. But they've done stuff without me. The church has done very well at staying active through its lifetime on Earth MC, including very rightly excommunicating people, videos, news, and announcements, and very notably, starting a crusade. The crusade against ancient Egypt took place not too long ago, being one of the most notable things the church has done. It actively got onto Earth MC news organizations like EMCL, and they continue to make it onto the news. They've also been active in world politics, fighting against the Earth MC terrorist organization and other religions attacking nations. But one of the most important projects the church has done is create Vatican City. The EarthMC Catholic Church was working on the town of Vatican City for a while, and it's where the Pope and a few Cardinals currently reside. It was only recently finished, taking a lot longer to build than one might think, but I don't blame them. This project was absolutely massive, being one of the more impressive builds I've ever seen on this server. The only reason I didn't make a video about the Vatican already is because I wanted to talk about the church as a whole. So now I get an excuse to tour Vatican City. So here we are at the Vatican City. I've been here a few times, but this is the first time I'll be recording it. So first we get here a quick message from the Pope. It welcome enjoy your stay, God loves you, from Pope Benedict, the current Pope. They have what I would assume right there is an SPQR flag, because technically the area is under SPQR rule. Right here they have a Vatican City flag, which is actually really cool. They have a couple of them, another one on the other side. And then you go into this bit of a courtyard here. You got a little hopper, all donations go directly towards the benefit of Christianity, so I think you should put an ender chest next to that to be honest, because if it was I'd donate some gold, but maybe I'll do it on my way out. Then we've got fountains on either side, as we work our way onto the side of this area. So obviously they've got the pillars here, and this must have taken ages to build. And before we walk away from it, let's just take a bit to appreciate the beautiful spire there with the gold on top. Then we go over here, we've got this statue here. He's got a shield and a sword, you can see obviously. Ooh, there's another person here. Popular destination, I see. We go up here, this looks like, yeah, this is going to be the, the Pope's little area. Yeah, the Sancti Patrice Benedict. So this is going to be his chair, the place that he sits down and looks out on his creation. And oh, Oh, the door to the church is closed at the moment. That's unfortunate. I'll see if I can get someone on on Discord real quick. Well, I doubt we'll get an answer, but for now, we can see we're out on the outside here. You can see the Sistine Chapel is being created right now. So this project technically still isn't done. Looks like another thing's being built right here. Let me check it out. Yep, this is the Apostolic Palace right there. Well, I guess we have no choice but to just look at it from up here. So you can obviously see 
you got the altar there, and then you've got all of the stuff on the ground. That's probably my favorite part. It's just all the stuff that you can see on the ground. You got all the glazed terracotta. Then you've got, obviously, the altar right there. The Pope didn't answer, so that will be the end for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you're still here, make sure you do subscribe and join the Discord. Thank you all very much for watching. Yes, Gali, I hope you enjoyed it. Toothbrush.